Alright boys, welcome back to the channel. Something, a one-off video, something very different. Um, my good friend, fellow content creator, Dodgy Gamer, and also legend Patreon on the channel, um, is the master of international management on Football Manager and has asked me to play one of his created competitions. Now, what he's done is he's created a lot of international competitions that you don't find in the vanilla version of FM. So, links to everything down below that he's done... Um, I'll link a video that he's done explains how to get into it. Also, the links to get the downloads of files and stuff from Passion FM. So I am doing the FIFA Arab Cup. Now, that's basically 22 teams from the Arab world. And it's a kind of like a pre-World Cup Qatar event, you know, like they used to do Confederation Cup, that sort of stuff. Um, I've played through I Am Morocco, as you can obviously tell by the thumbnail, and we've made it all the way through to the semi-final. So we're gonna, I'm going to quickly show you the competition, and then we're just going to play two games. Hopefully, hopefully two games. We've got Bahrain, Bahrain in the semi-final, and then hopefully we'll finish with a final. Um, ideal for, you know, I've I've played four, I've played three group games. I've done a quarter-final. If you're struggling for a save and just want to do something short, or you want the absolute top realism, get all of these competitions added into the game. I don't know what Chelsea will say because Ziyech has been with me for a month now in a warm-up competition in the middle of December, which is obviously busy for a Premier League team. So I don't think Frank's going to be happy with that, but never more. We need him. He's our star man. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Smash a like on today's video. Make sure you head over to Dodgers Gamers channel. Let me know if you enjoy. Let me know down in the comments. Do you play international management? I've dabbled with it a fair bit. I've often in part and series of have taken on management roles for world cups and stuff and um, i've actually enjoyed being morocco um i would like to i may even carry this save on offline and, and do the uh african cup of nations all right guys let's get into it so, all right boys so this is the fifa arab cup 2021 and um, we've qualified it was pretty easy to qualify from the group. It's kind of, you look, there's a couple of big teams in each group. Qatar did well to actually qualify. Saudi Arabia had a stinker in our group. But Egypt, Iraq, Algeria, Bahrain, UAE did very well. Tunisia. So what there is, first, there's a preliminary round that gets rid of sort of like six, what's the one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, six games, gets rid of six teams. From that, then a group is drawn. We got group drawn in group. It's just a standard World Cup sort of like. Four, uh, three games against uh, three games in your group. Top two go through into a quarter final. We've just played the quarter final. We played. I think we played UAE. Yeah, we played two, UAE. We that we actually left it really late. Ziek and he missed a penalty late on, and Harit came off the bench and scored the second for us. So we are playing. Even though quite look at Egypt. Egypt had a stinker against Algeria. We've. I actually played my first game as manager. Of Algeria was playing in the second leg. We did have we did have Buffel sent off uh, on 14, which made it difficult. We did get back into the game as well, um, and they scored late on. Look, we were leading 2-1 after the first leg. 90 plus two to kill us off. Absolute killer. They also scored a penalty. Buffel sent off, and as I said, he's not played since. He's been suspended for all of these four games, so unlikely that we'll see him at all today. But the Morocco squad is actually pretty good. Um, I chose it mainly because of Tarapt and Ziyech. Um, but they've got Roman Saiz. I've completely forgot about Hakimi. What a player. What a player to have in amongst the ranks. Um, Belanda. Amrabat, who I have in my Fiorentina save. Um, so, yeah, we should win comfortably. I'd be surprised if we don't win comfortably today against Bahrain. And then it all sets up for, no doubt, a final against Algeria. A little bit of revenge for what they did to us in the World Cup qualifier. So that's the tactic we've been playing. I've just been testing something. Just uh, I have found a ball winning midfielder working quite well. Obviously, I wanted to play Tarat, main man, as a, as a shadow striker. It's not been great for us, to be fair. Um, but I'm just trying to... I thought him kicking on, centre forward dropping off. Obviously, Ziyech and Belander on the wings are lethal. We've got Zayek. Zayek does struggle with his fitness. I think I'll only play Ziyech for about half, for half of the game or maybe... Hopefully half of the game because he's struggling a little bit with fitness. And if we are coasting, fingers crossed, then I would like to take him off and make sure he's rested for the final. But let's see how we got on. Here we go. First highlight straight away. Amrabat. Oh, not a sending off already. Oh, he's getting sent off. Oh, fuck. My air. What a start. What a start. <laughs> sent off early on, it says there. Let me just get rid of my face. Sent off early on, it says. Brilliant. Right, yeah, we know that. 
Right, he's going to have to go in there. Amrabat, advanced playmaker. Have we got a... We haven't got much to go in there, have we? He can do box to box, so we might have to just do box to box. What can Amrabat do for us a little bit? He can do deep line playmaker, which means he won't get as high as much. And we'll keep it on positive. Bloody hell, what a start to the game. First minute. Right, here we go, Ziek. Come on, can we get something from a set piece? Saiz is there over the bar. Right, Hakimi. Ziek. I have got us focusing down this right-hand side. We've got Hakimi on attack, wing back. So hopefully he'll get round Ziek. I have done it for the ball to be focused down this side as much as possible. Right, Tarapt. Come on, you've, have you got the vision to pick out a pass? He has done. What a pass. Mendy. Belanda. 1-0. Get in. Eunice Belanda. That will settle the nerves. I'm going to praise that. Right, here we go. I'm not going to pronounce half of these names for them. Right, Ziek. Barok. Hakimi. Go on, lad. What a player this boy is. Has he got Ziek in support? Belanda's now struggling with injury. Oh, we've got a second. We've got the luckiest goal you will ever see. I don't know even if he meant to do it or he's just kicked against him. Two goals in five minutes for us. Tremendous work from Hakimi down this right-hand side. It kind of was ricocheted off him, but we'll take it. We'll take it, especially when we get out to 10 men so early on. Right, 2-0 at half-time. As you can see, we've got, we've got problems here because Ziek is injured. Not injured, but struggling. Belanda is struggling. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a couple of changes. Harit can come on. Hakimi is now struggling as well, so I'm just going to tell him to go full-back defend. Don't even bother going forwards because he's on his, on his last legs as well. Do we do three subs now? I might as well. We'll take a risk that we don't get another injury. Don't get complacent, boys. But we've done well here with 10 men. Obviously big favourites playing Bahrain. Right, Harit, who did has come on a couple of times and scored a couple of goals. Benchaki, Mendy, Mendel. He's a very good player, actually. I think he plays in France. We've got a third... Get in. I can't pronounce it. En Sharaf Ben Sharky. When you pick your when you pick your squads, boys, just be make sure you have good rotation options in your squad. Um try and rotate the best you can, especially when you're playing a couple of the group games. I did rest Ziak Ziak for a couple of games in the group stage, I think, as well. Games come every two and three days for it. So yeah, good squad. Maybe a, a fair few players. They've absolutely banged one in. Saeed Daya Saeed has absolutely banged one in. Hopefully, it's only going to be a consolation. Let's just, uh, we'll just shut up shop a little bit. Yeah, so um, this is the competition runs in November 2021. So, obviously, the end of, sorry, kind of the first half of season two. As I said, just make sure you get some players that can rotate and play in different positions. Well done, boys. Well, I don't think we'll see Amrabat, obviously, for the rest of it. We're through to the final, and it's Algeria. Surely, it's Algeria. Yep, it is Algeria, and we're playing them on Boxing Day. These players have lost, missed. These players have lost, missed a lot of football. I've basically had this squad together since then. I've had them for the the majority of December. So no doubt, when this event does come come up, it'd be interesting to see which players actually go and play in this. Will Salah leave Liverpool for the whole of December? To go and play in this sort of like, you know, Confederations kind of cup style event. Be interesting to see who actually goes. Right, it looks like we can play Amrabat, which is nice. We'll take that. Everyone is EX obviously going to struggle to get through 90. Right, so they have... Ooh, where is he? Where's Mares? Goulam, I recognise him. Ex Napoli. Benassa, Faguli, Barami said Barami. <laughs> ben Rami was obviously at West Ham. No, Mares, he must be out injured. So that's a big lift. That is a big lift. Right, let's see if we can keep 11 players on the pitch this time, please, boys. So here we go. Final. Arab. FIFA Arab Cup Final 2021. Boxing Day. Right, first highlight. I always fancy us to being able to break with the players we've got in them four positions. It's going to come back at us, though. We have cleared. Mandy, he's a rings a bell. Real Betis, I think, maybe. Ben Taleb, we know all about him. That's out. Decent little spell from Algeria, keeping the ball. Good football. 
They've got some decent footballers, to be fair, haven't they? Hakimi's won it, right? Barkok. A Barak. Zikek. Zicek. Belanda. FM legend, isn't he, Belanda? What's he got for us? Penalty! It's a penalty. Belanda's going to take it himself by the looks of it. To put us 1-0. We need a little bit of luck because we've had two bloody sendings off. Belanda has missed it. Well, the luck isn't on our side, is it? He absolutely thumped it, but he didn't hit it far enough into the corner. I don't know why we're seeing that football manager. Jesus Christ. Algeria have not had a shot, though, which is good. Half an hour keeping out. We've got an injury to Hakimi. Oh, dear God. Okay, that's not great, is it? One of our top, even though he's a right back, he's one of our key players. Right, here he is, Mufi, the player that's come on for him. Tarat moving in, into this right hand side. He's jinked past one. We'll pretend that was a beautiful nutmeg. Tarat! Oh, just needed a touch off anybody. Hit a defender, striker getting in there. And we would have been 1 0 up. Still, they've not had a shot on goal. They've had one. Whee! They've lost a player to injury as well. I think the fixture congestion has. Caught up with a few teams. I think that's probably why Mares isn't playing. He's probably injured himself as well. Right, Ziek into Bakok. Belanda hits. Oh, just wide. Okay, half time, nil nil. Good first half. I'm gonna say unlucky. Just gotta keep our eye on a few players. <clears throat> right, their first meaningful highlight. Sal <gasps> salami. Is it salami? Slimani. Jeez, sorry, Slimani. Salami, Slimani, he's the Leicester guy, isn't he? Let's just demand a little bit more. Okay, we've got reds everywhere. Right, you're going to have to change. Let's change two. I think Baroque is struggling. He is. Right, let's do Harrit in there. Right, we're going to put Marzuri in there. He can go in there, no problem. He can do a job, yeah. He's quite good, actually. He's at Leicester in the game, 20 point... They've put a lot of money. A lot of money. Zierke is struggling. Let's get Harrit on that right-hand side. He's decent off the bench for us. Come on, can we get a winner, boys? Come on, fire him up. Gulam. Flair's going off. Slimani. Faguli. Good tackle by many, but he's going to get it back. Can we defend? We have. We've got opportunity to break now, Harrit. Let's play it safe. Come back to the goalie. Come on, let's build some it. Mendy. Belanda. Good run. Still going. Still going. Pulled it back to Missouri. Out to Mufi. Cross. 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 Had it. Oh, Mufi. Tarat. Tarat. I thought it was just a rebone it. Mendy. Blocked. Cleared. Is it going to come back? It is. Amrabat. Into Mufi. Cross. Tarat just scooped it up. He maybe even didn't connect with it cleanly, but it's enough to get us into the lead. 82nd minute. We are 1-0 up. Let's just go defensive. Lovely football. Mufi has actually done very well since coming on down this right one side. Tarat. Oh, look at that. Into the side netting. We'll say it was quality. Balanda's struggling. We can't do any more subs. Bentaleb, Bagut. Oh, they fucking scored. Don't believe it, boys. I don't believe it. And they're coming at us again now. Their tails are up after that equaliser. Oh, we're going 10 men. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Belanda's off. He could barely run anyway. Right. Let's swap them over. Let's go like that. Like that. I think he could probably be a winger. He can. They've got a free kick as well. Zefan. Oh, no. We wanted revenge for the World Cup qualifying. They've done us again. What a last 10 minutes of this game. 82, 86 and 88 for them. Great manager, uh, team talk. And there it is. We've been done. We've been done in the final of the Arab Cup. Algeria. Probably the favourites for it, maybe. There we go. All right, boys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed that. I've just played it for a couple of hours tonight and I've uh, really enjoyed just doing something a little bit different. I said I might, 
I might carry it on and, and go into the African Cup of Nations, which is coming up pretty soon. I've just selected a squad for that anyway. So, so yeah, links down in the description below. You can, as I said, you can just, I've just uploaded it and then holidayed until pretty much the start of the competition, like a month before. Or you can just put it into the game and, and play it realistically, as I said. And yeah, I don't know what um, Jurgen Klopp will say when Salah buggers off next December um, to go play in this competition. We'll see. that. I imagine that's something that may pop up in real life over the next year or so. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. said everything that you want, links to it. Go check out Dodgy Gamer's video which he, when he goes through all the different competitions that he's made. Superb bit of work. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you later.